Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons! Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget, drop a like on the stream, comment on it in the section below on what your thoughts are on the discussion topics I'm going to bring to your attention. Make sure you uh, share this to your social media platforms, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you can see the notifications and you lose up on the channel. So, um, also before I get into that, obviously this is GCSE results day. My daughter will be one of many children picking up their GCSE results. If your child or grandchild or Anyone that's near and dear to you, around the age of 16, picking up their GCSE results, I wish them the very best of luck. It's a big day for them. So I hope it all goes well. So, three stories I want to get my teeth into today. Again, as much audience participation as possible in the comment section below. So, the first story is regarding the young Brazilian left sided centre back by the name of Louis Zhao. Now, Louis Zhao came into the West Ham fold around about 18 months ago. There was a bit of, I wouldn't say it was a, you know, a, a lot of fanfare, I wouldn't say, but there was, there was a few noises about the signing at the time. Obviously, he came in from, I think it was Sao Paulo from memory. Um, and he was coming, he joined the Academy South, he still only, I think he was only about 20 at the time, 19, 20. And do excuse me, but just on the dog walk, you probably worked it out. And just as we always go past this spot, and there's usually a bug that comes from up there, um, having a pop at my my dog. Anyway, where was I? Louis Zhao. So 18 months ago, he comes in or thereabouts. Comes in from, as I say, I'm pretty sure it was Sao Paulo. So he's a left-sided centre, left-footed centre back. He's played in the academy as yet. He's not made a first team appearance. I'm pretty sure he's not even been in the squad from memory. He might have been in one or two, uh, but he's he's definitely not played a singular minute of first team football as we speak. And it looks like it's one of those failed experiments of a getting a player in, seeing how they go, and it doesn't really work out. And there's been many that I can think of down the years, players that we've got in from another club, sometimes in this country, sometimes a bit further afield like this where we've got them in and we think oh yeah this will this be a this will be a winner and it's not i mean i dare say he'll probably go back to brazil he'll he'll be a half decent player but it looks like it's it's not going to work out it looks like he's going back to brazil and there's conversations that are going on it looks like it will initially be a loan to begin with uh with some sort of option or obligation to purchase at the conclusion of it and I think the sticking point from what I understand is that West Ham are trying to insert, and it's quite a common thing these days, like a sell-off. So, apparently that's quite a bit of a constellation with the clubs uh, that we have But yeah, it's a shame. But, you know, he's not really sort of grabbed the opportunity like he should have done. And I don't think like it's going to change it. He's had a look, but he's decided he's not for him. Wish him good luck. It's a shame it never worked out, but it is what it is. Another player that looks like we'll be moving on is, uh, and this is a first team player, another centre back, right footed centre back this time, and that is the much mentioned, as far as departure is concerned in recent times, Konstantinos Mavropanos. His friends call him Dinos. Obviously came in last season in the summer transfer window. He um, 
came from Stuttgart in the Bundesliga. Previous to that, he was at Arsenal. I remember at the time being a little bit concerned that we was going after a centre-back who, from my perspective anyway, wasn't really a success at Arsenal. In fact, I think I even said he failed at Arsenal. I still hold that viewpoint. He's obviously come into West Ham, and whilst I'm not going to say he's failed, he's not been a rip-roaring success either. He's, he's done okay. I mean, he'll have one moment that he'll, he'll always be remembered for, scoring one of the two goals in a 2-0 win at the Emirates last season. Headed goal from a... I think it was from a... Is it a Jared Bowen corner or is it a James Ward Prowse corner? It was a corner anyway. I was there. I was stood right while the corner was being taken that night. Great night, great moment. Um, but unfortunately, it's the only thing great about his time at West Ham. And it looks like it may well be that he's going back from where he came. Stuttgart. Again. Yeah, I mean, look, we need to balance the books. We need to get some money in. We need, I mean, this Carlos Soler thing... I, I'm led to believe hinges on trying to get some players out the door. And like I said, I've just mentioned Louis Schau, I've just mentioned obviously Maverick Panos. There'll probably be more, I suspect. May well be that Aguirre moves on. He wasn't in the squad last week. Uh, he obviously is on record as saying he wants to get out. Uh, so I suspect he may well be another one to depart. Uh, I suspect we'll try and come up with some, some sort of arrangement with Kurt Zuma. Maxwell Cornet, I'm hearing stories that he may well be dropping down in as champ. Uh, Danny Ings is a little bit of an interesting one because I guess, you know, he's on 120 grand a week or whatever he's reporting to be on the West Ham. It's definitely 100 plus. It's not really going to be a clutch of, clutch of clubs sort of like queuing up to have him at bond 30 years of age. Um, especially sort of like he's not really done too much in the last 18 months, two years, is he? Let's be honest. So you can't imagine there'd be a long queue of clubs. So we're probably going to have to subsidise his wages um, just to get him off the books. But anyway, um, but yeah, Mavropanos looks like he's going to be moving on. I wish him luck. Um, and he was a Tim Stighton signing. So, I mean, you know, this, this proves that when Tim Stighton realises that he's made a little bit of an error, that there's some, a piece of the jigsaw that doesn't quite fit, He's quite happy to sort of go, OK, fine, that didn't work. Try again. Um, move that move that piece of the jigsaw on, get what we can for it, and get something that's a better fit. Now I'm going to have a little bit of a chat about... Now, this isn't a player we've actually been linked with. And so I don't want anyone to come at me and say I'm making stuff up. Because I'm, I'm being very clear here. This is me asking a question posing a hypothesis i'm not this is not a story that i have seen out in the big wide open this is me just asking a question and wanting to get your opinion really again comment sections below on this and the previous two topics that i discussed so some of you may be aware that i am a hammers chat adding level patreon and as part of the deal there's like a there's a whatsapp group you don't have to be in it but a lot of the pay addicts level patrons choose to be. It's a bit of banter, a bit of fun. Um, rumors start, you know, questions start, bouncing around ideas, whatever. It's good fun. And so if any of you guys aren't Hammers Chat addicts level patrons, that's one of the little added benefits that they offer. There are many more besides. Go and check them out. But a couple of days ago, it's quite funny. A thought popped into my head, and I don't quite know how it started. But you know when you get these moments in life where there's just this thought that just pops into your head, and you're not quite sure where it's come from. And then probably about a day later, somebody in the this WhatsApp group asked the same question. And then off the back of that, it then appeared that this person in the group and me, who hadn't articulated this thought in the group, had had the same thought. Raheem Sterling. Chelsea, been there two years, England international, 80-odd caps, played Champions League finals, played FA Cup finals, won Premier Leagues, played at World Cups, played at European Championships, has been told by the new Chelsea manager, Enzo Maresca, that he is surplus to requirements. He is not going to be 
part of the plan going forwards. To the extent that his number seven squad number that he has had for the last couple of seasons at Stamford Bridge has actually been taken off him. I think he's been given to the returning Joao Felix. Joao Felix, to give him his proper pronunciation. So it's basically the writings on the wall for him. You, you need to get a new club. Now, I wonder whether there is any possibility that he could be someone that West Ham might look at and go, hmm, there's, there's just, there are going to be some pros and cons here. So, again, this is why I want your, your opinions on it. Um, 29 years of age, he's, he's around the peak of his powers, I would suggest. He's got a lot of experience. Still got a lot to offer. I think he's got a lot in the tank for whoever takes him on. He's obviously got big match experience. That could be something he can pass on to the, the younger players. Not only the ones that operate in and around his position, the likes of Crescencio Somerville, but some of the other younger ones who maybe don't operate in his position. Like, say, for example, a Freddie Potts, who it looks like he may well be going to the championship for another loan spell this time with uh, Portsmouth. Um, he has pace to our front line. I'm not saying we don't have pace, but it's another string to the bow. I, I think, in some respects, he'd be a decent addition. But obviously then there's some of the cons. Um, for example, and we've just discussed it, we need to get players out of the court, we need to balance the books, and he wouldn't come cheap. I do suspect that Chelsea would probably have to subsidise some of his wages, but I'm not quite sure they would. Um, they would help out a fellow London rival, Premier League rival, and, and basically sort of write off 50, 60, 70 percent of it. Um, we'd probably have to stump up a fair chunk. So, from a financial aspect, I'm not quite sure it would work. Uh, from a playing aspect, though, I do have to ask the question: Would he improve our lot? Is he a, is he someone we would need? A wide forward, quick player, bags of experience, quite a bit still left in the tank, I believe. Not someone that's been afflicted by too many injuries, not that I can remember, where he's been out for, you know, months here, months there, whatever. Could he be an option? Could he be an option? I suspect that probably, like I say, it will hinge on finances. I suspect, I suspect that there may well be probably offers elsewhere that will be a little bit more appealing. I've heard Serie A clubs like Napoli mentioned. And I wouldn't be totally shocked if maybe a Saudi Pro League would be made to play for him. I'm just asking a question, just after opinions, because it's funny, like I say, I had the thought, and then a day later it was on this uh, WhatsApp group I'm on. So it appears I'm not alone. It appears I'm not this lone voice in the wilderness that's having this, this thought. There might be others of you out there that are looking at the situation that's unfolding with Raheem Sterling at Stamford Bridge and wondering, could he, should we? I don't know. That's what your comment section below is for. Get stuck in, let me know what you think. And again, as always, thanks for your time. Please don't forget, drop a like on the stream. Comment in the section below. Share this to your social media platforms. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And make sure you hit the bell icon for alerts on any new content as and when we upload it to the channel, you'll be notified straight away. Stay safe. Come on, you audience. Iron Supporting Food Banks collects food and cash donations for needy families in Newham Borough and beyond. Please consider making a donation via their Just Giving page, the link for which you will find in the description section of this stream. Come on you Irons!